Hey, what's up, you two? Mar here from Grumpy OG's Up Against No Rule, No Law, and another guild in G2 Siege. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's jump into it. So here are the defenses that they are running. This one is a mixed tower. For this next one, they have a half Kamun Ethna Theo tower. And then for this next one, they also have another mixed tower. We have a Ophelia Theo Riley tower. A kind of a mixed tower again. And then for the last one, we have a Kinky Tower. For the first attack of the day, we're going to hit this Harmonia Vigoroid with Praline, Bethany, and Covenant. I could have went with the Covenant lead. I think we would have been able to outspeed it. But just to play it safe, we're going to go with the Praline lead. Alright, good thing we did. We're going to go ahead and boost up. Snipe the Roid. Alright, perfect. And then we're going to kill the Vigor. And now it's a 3v1, and we should have this one in the bag. I do want to say sorry for not posting last week. I did take a little bit of a break. I had a family over that I haven't seen in quite some time. And uh, I just wanted to catch up with them. I did record a few videos. I just didn't have the time to edit them and upload them. So you're probably going to be seeing like a video every day this week. I'm also on spring break, so I'm going to have time. If you guys have any video recommendations, let me know in the comment section below. But... Yeah, this one's going to be a win. GG's. Don't forget to share your replays as it can help your guildies out. On to the next one. We have this Geldnir, Bastet, Sonia team. So we're going to hit it with Jin Dovolution. I did think about using Mirne instead of Jin for this team, but I was scared that that 33 lead with the Bastet would outspeed me. So I wanted to play it safe here. But as you'll see, we do end up outspeeding it. And we clear two of the three. But... We get stalled by the Geldnir for like 5 minutes before he ends up killing the Dova and then kills the Lucian and then this one ends up being a loss. Throughout this whole time, I could not land a heal block on the Geldnir. As many times as I boosted up the Lucian, I could not land it. My Lucian has zero accuracy and this Geldnir probably has like a bajillion res. Yeah, I was kind of sad that this one lost, but as Pure Mage 69 once said, you live by the cleave, you die by the cleave. And this time, we died by the cleave. Rip the Lucian, rip this team. We took a loss. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this TM Lang Riley Julian with Miyang, Adriana, Sonia. So I was kind of scared to use this team. I was actually going to hit this one before the other one. And I just wasn't really sure how it would work. Who do I kill here? I went for the Riley because I didn't want to deal with the heals. That way the Julian can't really sustain himself. Then I started targeting the Tian Lang. We lost to Miang. We're going to go for the Oblivion. We do land it. I start targeting the Tian Lang. I should have just went for the Julian there. And he almost kills the Sonya. We kill the Tian Lang. We're going to go ahead and heal up a little bit. And go for the skill to snipe. We did get lucky right there. For this next one, we're going to hit this Carcano Miles Eladro with Galleon Tiana Poseidon. At this point, I was at my cousin's like wedding event. So I didn't really have too much time. To show runes and stuff. I was just trying to get all my hits done before the siege ended. So let's go ahead and see how this one went. Alright, we get the triple pushbacks. We got the kill on the Carcano and we finished them off with the Tiana. GG's. For the next one, we're gonna hit this Harmonia Suki Lume with the Lucian team. We're gonna try to cleave it. Now they're most likely gonna be tanky here, but can the Lucian cleave it? Not enough damage. We're going to have to secure the kill onto the Lumei. We don't want her to proc. I think that's the best option. He's going to go for a skill 2. Alright, he doesn't really have stacks, so he's not going to do too much. She's going to heal him up. We're going to try to secure the kill onto the Suki. And we should be good. We're going to extend that buff. Heal block? No heal block. But I think we'll be fine. He starts targeting the Dova. She's healing him up. He's getting stacks. He's getting a little bit scary. We're going to boost up. And we kill the Miang. Now it's a 3v1. We secure the win. Now for this next one, we're going to hit this Shartina team with Tractor Winnie Lulu. I'm just going to go ahead and speed this one up. You guys already know how this one goes. We're going to target the Martina. Once she's down, you can basically just auto it. We have Maggie saying hi, YouTube. If you guys made it this far in the video, leave a comment down below saying hi, Maggie. While we're waiting, I do want to catch you up on last week. Like I said, I had a family coming from out of state to visit for a wedding. One of my cousins was getting married. And that whole time, I was just kind of spending time with them. 
with my whole family. I don't really get to see my family that often because I have a split family, so it was really nice. It was a really beautiful thing. Life is too short, so you want to make sure you spend it with your family and friends. And that's why we're going to cleave now so we can get these attacks over with. We're going to go ahead and Lucian this one. So we should be able to outspeed this one. Yes, we do. We're going to go ahead and boost up the Lucian. Can we clear it? All right, nice. GG's. For this next attack, I was already at the pre-wedding event and I decided to auto this one. That way I can kind of socialize a bit. So I just decided to target the Savannah since she has the defense break. And once she's done, it's pretty much a win. If you're new to the channel, I have quite a few videos of Juno soloing similar-ish defenses. I don't think she would have been able to solo this one because of the Wusa. His skill 2 just does a lot of damage and helps them sustain. But this team is really good into Savannah, Juno slash Nora, plus one, the plus one usually being Nana. It worked really well into this Wusa variant. Like I said, I just set it up, started autoing it, and then when I checked my phone, the attack was over, which is pretty nice. I don't think you can really do that with a lot of teams. But it does depend on the defense. I do think Tractor, Windy, Lulu, Feng Yan, Tetra, Leo, Feng Yan, Aaliyah, Leo can potentially auto some of the defenses depending on what they are but I don't want to bore you guys so we're gonna go ahead and skip this one as you'll see I did secure the win and then for this next one we're gonna use Nana Riley Laika for this one I couldn't think of any other option to cleave this one or else I would have I already used my Galleon option I already used my Lucians I didn't want to have to reruin one of my double snipe teams as well so we just went with this good old safe team. I really wanted to auto this one. I think I set it on auto for a little bit and then I switched back to play it safe. I didn't want to take another loss. But as long as we get a kill here, we should be fine. The Miles dies to revenge. He gets revived. We kill the Carcano. Now it's a 3v2. I think at this point, I put the auto on and we started targeting the Ladriel. I'm not too sure. But yeah, once the Ladriel is done, this one is pretty much a win. You don't have to really worry too much about it. There he goes. And then the Miles actually goes down to a counter. <laughs> GG's. Now for the next attack, we're going to hit this Carcano Eladro Manon with Feng Yan, Aaliyah, Leo again. I wanted to auto this one, but I really couldn't. I started targeting the Manon. That way we didn't really have to deal with her BS. And then I started going for the Eladro. I've been thinking about making a few more Lucians. Let me know in the comment section below if you think I should make a few more Lucians. I think I'll go up to 5. That way I can just cleave a few more things. I think I would have been able to Miang Lucian this one. But we are almost close to getting the Manon down. There she goes. She's going to get revived. We're going to go for another kill onto her. Now I don't think I would actually use this team if I had more time. The only thing is that this was a preset. I just wanted to get my last attack over with. It's a pretty safe team, especially compared to the Jindova Lucian team that I used earlier. But if the Carcano lands a defense break into the Feng Yan and then the Manon also targets him, he goes down. You're pretty much screwed at that point. The Leo's not going to have enough damage to win it. Unless he gets into torrent range. I don't know, it's a whole different debate. But yeah, it's a slow boring team. We almost get rid of the Manon. She is on the squishier end, surprisingly. There's this really fun Siege offense that I want to try out. It includes Leo in it. But the thing is, you're going to have to wait until next week to see. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe. I have a few different variants of that team to try out. And since we do have a couple of Leos, we could probably try those out. I'm honestly really excited to try out that team. It's kind of rare whenever you can find a good new team. Like this team is really good, but the thing is... I've been using it so much that I'm just kind of over it. It definitely gets the job done, but since it's early on in the season, I want to mess around a bit. And we secured another win. We went 9-1 this siege. We did end up winning the siege. And let's go ahead and check out the contribution. We have Maggie in the number one spot, followed by Alex and then the boss man himself. Then we are in fifth place. We got a few defense wins. And since it is early on in the season, I will be showing some of my defenses. Here are the defenses. Did I change the runes? I don't know, only the guildies know. And then here is the trophy box. Let's go ahead and check it out. Do we get anything good from it? We get five wind scrolls. Maybe there's a young troll there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, maybe consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing as it really helps out my channel. 
But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow. Peace.